Hi folks, I've been a bit stingy with the uh, pre preparation of this piece of uh, studio paper. There's a painting on the other side, but I don't. It was a demo I did on uh, Patreon. It's not a particularly great one, so I, I just paint on the backs of them. And then, if it's any good, I will eventually prime the reverse with a colour, an acrylic colour. So, we've got, uh, we've got Pays Grey, uh, sap green, ultramarine, a bit of red. I need to put out some red ochre, some yellow ochre. Oh, got two lots of yellow ochre there. All right, bear with me. Let's uh, move that to there. And some cadmium yellow and some, some white. Right, just clean my knife. Right, so red ochre going out there. Right, I'm gonna to go to uh, do an already one, of course. Uh, I, I really love this way of painting. I, I did a couple, of, well, I did three actually, um, as demos. Well, I think I did, I might have done two. But one big one which I do like, which is in a big uh, antique frame in my one of my downstairs rooms. Uh, and I first saw this technique by Dennis Sheehan and I was so knocked out by it but I, for some reason I stopped doing it probably because I was really suffering with my chest uh, using all these solvents and I, I was cleaning my brush, brush as I went with um, paraffin well paraffin keeps the bristles soft because it's more oily than some of the traditional brush cleaners but they're all toxic so I stopped using, I stopped doing oils for, for quite a long time. Uh, but now I use just uh, linseed oil, maybe a bit of dryer in there. It does dry eventually anyway. Uh, and that's it. And I clean the brushes in dishwasher liquid or uh, washing powder with a bit of water added. And that, that does the job. The brushes will keep lovely and clean. Oh, so I'm really going to use these. But I want to do a bit of an impression. I do know what I'm going to paint with. Um, but I, I haven't planned it. I'm just going to to paint and see where we go. But I want to I want to use this brush here rather like the hake. And if I can get a, a sharp edge on that, I might be able to do some filigree. Oh, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Right, bit of oil on the brush and I'm going to get some bit of uh, meadow grass. Across. I've just uh, used one coat of um, PVA glue, artist, well I say it's all artist quality, some are thicker than others. I got it from, from uh, Hobbycraft, the PVA that I'm using at the moment. And uh, I just sprayed, sprayed it with a bit of water because it's quite thick and gloopy. So I sprayed it with a, from my water bottle and to make it flow. So it's quite a sealed surface. A little bit bumpy, but that doesn't matter because if you ever want to frame it, you can, or if you do this yourself and you want to frame it, you can frame it behind glass in a mount, double mount preferably, or you can trim it and paste it to a board, a bit of MDF. All very cheap. Right, so let's, let's put a bit of foreground in that. I've noticed that landscapes are largely red and green. If you, if you go and have a look at waste ground or meadow ground, you'll see it's basically a red, red and and green. But then we put some shadow in here. But I I, I like this way of painting, this lifting out, and it's uh, it's very enjoyable. Right, let's have a bit of bit of blue, bit of grey, bit of that cad red. 
So I thought we can. I'm not sure how that will lift, but. Uh, Oops. I'm basing this on um, a bike ride through the wetlands at Morden Hall Park. You might have heard of Morden Hall Park from the Antiques Road Show last year. They did two shows there. And I know somebody that spent four hours trying to get in into the car park. Such was the, uh, the rush. Well, not rush, because you couldn't rush in the traffic. Right, let's have a bit of, bit of green in here. I might even put a bit of water in that, because the wetlands, the ballpark on the wetlands, is what it, what it says it is. Okay, let's get some dark green in the base of that. So I'm missing paint spray. Oh, I'm missing all the dark colours. This ball's moving. All right, we want the dark so that we can counter change the light. Board's moving. Can't do much about that. All right, let's put in a bit of background now. So, darks. <coughs> that looks like phthalo green now, doesn't it? With the. Uh, Bit of that, so paint's grey and blue, it's sort of gone to a phthalo. I could change hands. Makes your wrists ache after a while. That's paint's grey and blue, it really gives a, a lot of character to the paint, I must say. Now hopefully the paint won't dry through the acrylic, I don't think it will, but I want to get a big sort of oak tree here. <coughs> now let's get some dark shadowy colour on that horizon there. I'm making a painting, not a copy of anything. I was just making this up, trying to create an impression. Now it might be a bit pretentious of me to say that, but... Just a memory of, of a view I saw across the water. I haven't got COPD, I mean I've got COPD but I haven't got coronavirus yet. Don't think of much of my chances of COPD. Alright, let's put a bit of sky in there now. Just have a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of light red. Just put a bit of bit of uh, paint on, just to cover it. We can lighten it all up and put some impression of clouds and stuff. I feel sorry for it today. We've gone in lockdown. Well, we have got a care home near us. That's under lockdown because somebody brought it in. 
but they can't, you can't help it, can you? Right, okay, now. Let's get some light in there now. So a bit of a bit of red, a bit of red ochre. I love meadows, I, I really do. I don't like doing buildings, it's not I had a year of doing Venice paintings and I got fed up with it. I don't mind putting the other one in in a watercolour or, or an oil painting but I like the impression, I like creating an impression. Look at that lovely. So that's just a bit of bit of uh, red ochre, uh, no, the red ochre and a bit of white, a bit of yellow ochre. this nice light in here it's more stippled than anything else I, I like occasionally uh, using a palette knife and bunging it on it and then just blending it with my nylon brushes I got those I got a pack of three for oh they were, they were, they were cheap um, three of these, so the, the, there's an inch and a half, to, uh, no I've got, I think I've got a three inch brush there, let's have a look, I can't find them though, for, for when I do big, big pictures, um, there it is, I've got a three inch brush, very thin, a uh, one inch brush and a two inch brush, and they are lovely for blending. So that's why um, it's quite difficult now putting light back onto that sky because I've already got paint on it. So I'm going to use a palette knife just to put some light on. Oh my gosh, everything falls off the table. Right, I'm going uh, that's it, that's the one I like, my favourite one. Sorry about the uh, camera. Right, okay. Now, let's uh, get some of that. Oh, be careful. It's just a little bit dry from Monday. And you can, you can you can blend it quite easily with one of those soft brushes. Right, let's do a bit of blending now. See what I mean. Let's. Uh, I'll use the I'll use this one. Keep the brush clean though. Right, let's get a bit more there, I'll put it on the brush.
Right, now I'm going to use a bit of a bit of grey. All right, now we'll uh, start putting back some, I like the blue on that. And we could go back on that sky a bit, well it's a bit later, it's been a few minutes. Okay, right, let's go. Let's put some of the stuff back now. A bit of the. Uh... All right, let's see if we can make some well, let's just get that blue back in there. It's all about detail, uh, illusion of detail, creating detail. All right, let's see what we can do. Now, I'm going to use that this brush here, a bit of oil, and a bit of dark. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Well, you can get a bit of a bit of an impression of it. Right, let's uh, put a cotton bud in. I'm not trying for any realism here, I'm just trying for an impression. I mean, we all know they're trees. Just a little cotton bud, look, just a... Alright, let's get one up here now.
Right, I'll well, let that go for a minute. I, now, you've got to make sure your, your tree gets thicker as it comes down to the bottom. Otherwise it just looks as if it never hold up a canopy of leaves. Alright, let's uh, do some of that foreground now while we're at it. Uh, I want a light colour on here. Just grass, cutting the light. Okay, let's let's see if we can put some water in here. Uh, I'll put the water where the light in the sky is. Now we need to put some uh, darks in there to make that show. So my blue, my grey, my red, but still with three colours, four colours. Right, let's get a few lights in there now. This is a bit of this cad yellow. Let's try to provide some, put in some variety. I need a bit more white. Won't put too much up so I won't use it. All right, need some more light. I love this uh, yellowy green. All right, so there's a bit more straightening up in, the, in these. They're not puddles. It's just a. The water table is very high, and a lot of rain, and 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 it's all managed, of course, with sluices, all sorts. The, the, it's controlled, in other words, the amount of water that's in the wetlands here.
No, that's not very convincing, is it? Add some light in these. Uh Alright, let's get some uh let's just put some leaves back here. Put some red in there. Oh, well, it didn't quite come off there. It's, uh, it was worth a try. To get some filigree on that, I'd have to wait for it to dry and then use a bit of the dreaded white spirit to thin down the paint and then just do a bit of rigor work on it. But uh, anyway, we've, uh, we've got a painting. I uh, hope you like that one. Ooh. I'll put it in a mount and then we'll have a look. Oh, oh dear, that was lucky. My palette nearly ended up face down. Uh -huh. What do I want? Mount. Okay, well let's just see if we can just come out a bit. Right, I'll raise up. Oh, there we are. <coughs> a bit of meadow. That could probably do with a little bit of dark in there, just to do that. Because it would be in shadow. some uh,
Okay, that's it. We'll put them in the water. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.